Hey guys, it's Ruby here with Unorthodox Aquatics. Uh, it's late and I'm restless and bored. I've been recovering from a surgery for a week or so now. And uh, remember that tank, that 60 gallon breeder I brought home in the last video? Well, I set that up. Um, it's in the process of being transformed into brackish. And uh, for that moray eel I got uh, last time. So, um, I'm going to do some cool stuff to it tonight. Let's see. So it's looking pretty basic right now. Um, it's been set up since the day after the last video. Uh, put some basic sand in there. Just a decor piece, a heater. Um, I cycled it for a while with pre-established filters, which I have removed because I am uh, putting that media in new filters. So, uh, let's check out. See, I got a little sunny in there. and Here's my eel. He's hiding. We'll see him later. Anyway, we're going to do some cool stuff. For that tank, I made some DIY lids uh, that perfectly go across the top um, out of picture frames, and uh, I'm later going to attach hinges to them um, to, you know, so I can easily lift them. Um, I have those aside for now, so I can uh, do my project here, which here uh, I have the new filters just you know some Chinese brand from Amazon but uh, I like how slim and flat they are they hang on the inside and they've got a multiple layer filtration uh, it's in foreign language but um, I can understand it by the picture so anyway we are going to put uh, uh, some pre-cycled media into these so we can use them right away. Okay, let's see if I can figure out what I'm doing here. So, this here uh, that sits on the edge kind of like a hob type model uh, is too thin or narrow for the edge of that tank for the lip uh, so that's all right because I have different plans for this anyways uh, since it's flat I'm going to attach these um, double-sided suction cups to it maybe put a few on there for or so so uh, it can uh, hang inside and we're going to omit this piece here because uh, since those lids sit flat we are going to want to um, you know not have it have it propped up by anything so we're going to have minimal cords and everything now let's see if I can just get this darn thing open oh Maybe I'm not supposed to open it there. <laughs> oh, wait. Anyway, that's all right. I can just put the media into this top part for now. So we're gonna just sub in for that sponge some pieces of cycled sponge. That was uh, running in there before. Okay. 
good enough for me. Attach on the little outflow nozzle. just get the other one set up here these are um, 40 gallon uh, capacity each so for the 60 we're gonna have a little bit more filtration which is fine by me Let's go hook these up. Now I want to hook these up so they're somewhat low profile. So I think I might do them on the sides because I want to do something neat with the background there. So double-sided section cut. And uh, I might move these around. I might put them both on one side for uh, a little while, depending on how this looks. So. And we're going. I'm going to point that down a little bit. Now let's do the other one on the other side. We'll see how good these suction cups hold. Okay, I need a little extension thing. These Chinese products are notorious for having short cords. All right, we got another one.
Good deal. Nice and low profile. It's the eel under there. <laughs> So we're back at my little work table and uh, I think I'm going to do like a little fast motion video for you guys here. i um, not going to really explain what this is just yet. Uh, I'm going to set it all up and uh, then I'll kind of explain it later. So uh, here we go. All right, let's check out this baby in action. I have to have some little light on so I can read how I can adjust it here. So, power. All right. And this button controls the brightness. Um, I don't have it aimed directly coming back at the glass because uh, I don't think the eel would appreciate that too much. As you can see, he's kind of confused as to what to do. Anyway, um, RGB adjust. Oh, okay. make it from blue to orange. How about that? So cool. So, and you can do all sorts of stuff uh, with this remote. Um, by the way, is from Current USA a Serene Background Light Kit. And it goes in some more colors. And you can make it do like these sunset settings. I don't know. I have to kind of fool around with it. So cool. But I think I am also going to get uh, just another overhead regular LED light for it. So, anyway. So, yeah, I kind of just went with the, uh, the basic setup um, for this light system from Current USA. Um, it's called the Serene LED Background. Um, you can face it directly at the tank, point it back at the wall for a more, uh, you know, smooth kind of faded effect. 
um, I have yet to play around with it. So uh, um, the more advanced version, the larger version comes with a sound system. So um, I might upgrade and Thanks for tuning in guys. This is Ruby with the Orthodox Aquatics uh, having you tune in for another aqua adventure and uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye.